<laughs> Margaret, I read earlier this year you gave an interview about writing um, in, in connection to your new book, and someone asked you, do you plan a book when you're starting a book? And you said, no, I just jump right in like I'm going swimming. Mm -hmm. You're writing a book. Same. It, is this the same thing? Yeah. What did you do? How did you start? First, I had to push through what I felt was this audacity to even write a book. Mm -hmm. Songs are easy to hide behind. Being on stage for me is easy to hide behind. You have glitter, leather pants, sweaty music. There's a lot of things to hide behind. But when I'm writing, um, not only is it more of a commitment and an intimacy, um, but I actually have to tell the story. And I have zero interest in my own story. So I literally have hired people to force me to care about my story. <laughs> and they do. So are you making it up? <laughs> No, I wish I were making some of these stories up. Um, but uh, it's, it's all autobiographical for now. And I have all these different aspects of self. So there's the teacher, the pontificator, the intellectual, the, the three-year-old, the reactive, the traumatized. There's all these parts that want to have their moment in the sun while I'm writing. So if there were any Achilles heels, it was, it was around whose voice would have their say in any given moment. And what I was encouraged to do, and I'm curious about your process around this, um, was to just stay in the story and not have some reflective, bow-tying, intellectualized take on what I was writing in the moment. And so I've literally asked that part of me to just take a seat and just tell the story. And it's, it's intense. You're doing the right thing. Thanks.